the start of something big. I'm Brian Moore, and this is Focus NNS. We're here in the North Yard where site preparations are well underway for the keelang ceremony of John F. Kennedy, CVN 79. We'll take you to the ceremony. Plus, it's move-in time on another carrier under construction, CVN 78. We'll take you aboard. And get your walking shoes. It's time to get ready for Heart Walk. Those stories and more are coming up, but first on deck, a great day for shipbuilders as the keel is laid for CVN 79, John F. Kennedy. Aaron Pritchett with our communications division takes us to the ceremony. May 27, 1967, a crowd of more than 30,000 gathered here at the shipyard to witness a young Caroline Kennedy smash a bottle of American sparkling wine against the bow of John F. Kennedy's CVA 67. Fast forward some 48 years later, and a brand new John F. Kennedy is born. CVN 79, as Newport News Shipbuilding held the ceremonial keel lane, which marks the beginning of construction for the second ship in the Ford class and the soon to be next most advanced aircraft carrier in the world. Distinguished platform guests, ladies and gentlemen, and especially Congressman Kennedy, who is attending on behalf of the Kennedy family and his cousin, Caroline Kennedy, our ship sponsor. It is my privilege and great honor to welcome you to the keel laying ceremony for the aircraft carrier John F. Kennedy, CVN 79. that our military service men and women who will serve aboard this vessel will always be able to stand on this flight deck and proudly say we're part of the greatest nation on this earth. Just like the carrier's namesake, President John F. Kennedy, we want this carrier to be a symbol of peace, equality, and power. Our quest for excellence was evident in 1964 when we laid the keel for the first JFK CB-67, and it holds true today. This aircraft carrier, CBN 79, will continue our tradition of always good ships. To the workers who will toil away in this project and have already begun and will continue for the next seven years or so, I don't know what else to say other than an awe-inspired thank you. And with the initials CBK, those of my cousin, Caroline Kennedy, she will also carry his love for family. As a young girl, my cousin Caroline christened the first USS John F. Kennedy on her second try, actually. <laughs> and today, her initials are welded to the keel. She adds her own mark to the story of this ship. Please join me in welcoming Ambassador Caroline Kennedy. It's my honor to be the sponsor for the latest aircraft carrier, John F. Kennedy. My father displayed a spirit that challenged people to do more for their country and reach for that next level. I hope that all those who sail on this ship will sail with the same sense of service to our nation that my father felt. This will be present with you in Virginia and will be affixed to the ship during construction. Now the moment you've been waiting for. Please join me in welcoming our welder, Mr. Leon Walston. Yes, I'm real excited about it. And it's a big honor. You know, basically everybody, that's, I kind of think more people have seen there are more excited than I have been this week. I say well, I'm real proud and happy to have the opportunity. And the most important thing, you know, to be safe working on the um, Kennedy Project and also putting in quality work. I hereby declare the keel of this United States ship, John F. Kennedy, truly and fairly laid. Move this keel unit into the dry dock. Get going. 
just a big team effort from everybody. My role seems to be a little bit more visible than everybody else because obviously because of the crane is more visible, but it takes a big team effort to get this done. It's been a long time coming to this day and we're very excited to make this lift. The keel laying is only the beginning of this monumental process, but shipbuilders are already well underway and committed to bringing the new John F. Kennedy CVN-79 to life. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian. Thank you, Aaron. And keep watching Focus NNS. We'll keep track of all the latest construction milestones and progress of CVN-79 John F. Kennedy. Now, let's take a look at some other news from around the yard. A big day in the life of CVN-78, Gerald R. Ford. The aircraft carrier reaches a major milestone as the crew moves aboard. Ship sponsor Susan Ford Bales was part of the festivities as the crew opened new areas of the ship and ate the first meal prepared in the galley. The first-in-class carrier is in the final stages of construction and testing and feeling more and more like home. I feel really comfortable here. I, I feel comfortable around the shipbuilders. I feel comfortable around the sailors because I'm getting to know people the more I see them and, and understand what their jobs are. And, and so it has just expanded my family. And the progress has just been unbelievable. It's been an amazing experience. And I, I just feel extremely privileged to be a part of it. Ford is designed to house a crew of up to 4,660 sailors who will benefit from quality of life improvements in the ship's design. The galley, for instance, is redesigned with a new layout that provides more space and greater efficiency for sailors as they prepare for meals. A big milestone for Virginia-class submarine Washington, SSN 787. The 14th ship in the class has reached pressure hull complete signifying that all the submarine's hull sections have been joined to form a single watertight unit. Washington's construction began in 2011 and is currently almost 85% complete. Look for the christening of Washington in early 2016. Newport News Shipbuilding subsidiary Newport News Industrial, or NNI, celebrates 50 years of business. Employees gathered at the NNI offices on August 25th to celebrate during a lunchtime anniversary event. NNI was created to support the design and construction of commercial nuclear power plants. That mission expanded over time to include maintenance, repair, and modification services. And today, NNI provides a wide range of services and innovative products to energy and government customers. 50 years is incredible. Though I haven't been here to experience it all, I realize that I'm for a company that has a very sturdy foundation, and I'm glad to be here. Company leadership thanked NNI employees for playing an integral part in turning NNI into the great company it is today. It's all about safety as shipbuilders take part in the annual Environmental Health and Safety Expo. This innovative and engaging event allows shipbuilders to venture through more than 35 booths to learn about new ways that safety is being utilized in the various shops, trades, and specific areas throughout the shipyard. It helps with morale. It keeps them innovative. It reminds them that this is important, but it can be fun, and it helps get the message out a little better that way. Because at the end of the day, our motto is what? We want you to leave out the gate the same way you came in. So understanding safety and knowing what safety is and how it does and how it allows you to get back home to provide for your family and be able to do for your family is a great thing. Full steam ahead as USS Abraham Lincoln CVN-72 reaches another major milestone and gets closer to completing her refueling and complex overhaul here at Newport News Shipbuilding. In June, shipbuilders began a major effort called Shore Steaming, which initiates testing on all its steam-powered systems, including the main engine complex and the ship's electrical generators. It's exciting to, to take it from a four-year project and you know you start coming to the end and you get to see stuff back up and running and stuff, systems coming alive and everything. And you just stay focused to get this one finished and work to get ready to get to your next one. More than 23 million man hours go into an RCOH. And now the end is in sight as the ship prepares for crew move aboard in 2016. That same year, the USS Abraham Lincoln will rejoin the fleet as a freshly modernized ship ready for another 25 years of service. Check out the new Abraham Lincoln RCOH update video on the Newport News Shipbuilding website. 
In order to build the best ships in the world, our shipbuilders have to be the best. And that includes taking care of ourselves. Our shipbuilders have the opportunity to walk that walk with the upcoming Hampton Roads Heart Walk. Our guest correspondent, Amy McDonald, has the details. What an incredible muscle. Over the course of your life, your heart will beat over 3 billion times. Did you know that every 39 seconds, someone dies of cardiovascular disease and that heart disease is the number one killer and stroke the number five killer of all Americans? That is why New Purdue Shipbuilding is once again sponsoring this year's Hampton Roads Heart Walk. The heart is the one single muscle that basically controls our, our living being. We have to take care of it. And I don't think on a regular basis we think about the foods we eat and how it affects it. Emotions, stress, exercising, sedentary lifestyles, all of these things fuel the heart. So I believe that you know going out and really taking care of yourself is going to increase the longevity of it. So we have to be conscious of what we're doing. I wasn't scared until I was scared. That sounds a little strange. I wasn't scared until the doctor walked into the room with me and looked me in the eye and said, you're having a heart attack. The day that I got the call, I was here at work. It was a normal day. And it just took me completely by surprise. I was a brand new mother. The last thing that I thought we would have to worry about was losing my mom. I immediately took off work to go be with her and it was traumatic for the entire family. It's important to me because having kids and having a family, you wanna make sure that you're around for them. So since it doesn't strike me personally or my kids directly, I wanna make sure they're aware of stuff that goes on. It happens at any age, having a heart disease or a stroke. So make sure they're aware, make sure they stay active and just participating in these events to me is very important because you just never know. It could be me, it could be them at any given day. So focusing on the heart walk, spending time with fitness and nutrition and, and using opportunities like the heart walk to raise awareness of heart disease so that in some small way I can give back to others um, a little bit of a learning experience to not do what I did and to recognize the symptoms of a heart attack early. If I can help just one person, um, then, then all of the effort is absolutely worth it. Well, the American Heart Association, they conduct research and they take care of patients, just like my mom at the Norfolk Heart Hospital. So it's important, it's a chance for me to give back um, and support the, the hospital that saved my mom's life. She's doing very well. Um, she's also conscious of her heart and she's going to her regular checkups and we hope that she stays with us many more years. At the Heart Walk, she's usually one of the proudest ones <laughs> walking around being a survivor. The goal of the American Heart Association is to raise awareness by all Americans by 20% by the year 2020. And here at New Purdue Shipbuilding, we are dedicated to the health and well-being of our employees, which is why we are once again sponsoring this year's Hampton Roads Heart Walk. On October 10th at Mount Trashmore in Virginia Beach, or October 17th at Peninsula Town Center in Hampton. Please join us again and walk this year. For Focus NNS, I'm Amy McDonald. Back to you, Brian. Thank you, Amy. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Focus NNS. Make sure you check out all the latest news in our weekly publication, Currents, and in the latest edition of Yardlines. And if you have a story idea for Focus NNS and want to be a guest correspondent, email us at focusnns at hii-nns.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Brian Moore.